another pass ration drill that we do here at the University of Miami that, re that we reap huge dividends from is the play action drill. The purpose of the play action drill is to teach the linebackers to sprint back and gain depth after a false run read. Not, not all reads are going to be good, but you got to teach the linebackers that uh, if you do get a bad run read, that effort can overcome a lot of mistakes. The first coaching point uh, with this drill is that the linebackers must sprint and turn their backs to the quarterback and look for a receiver in your area. If you have to, let the ball hit you in the back of the head. It's important that you look up the receiving area, that you sprint back. So here's the drill set up. I'm representing the quarterback. I'm standing the ball out to get them to suck up. I'm telling them to bite up on the drill. Not to play the drill, but to bite up. To bite up on the drill. And now, once I redrop, then now it's their job to redrop and hit their landmarks. If you're a curl flat dropper, we teach our curl flat droppers, then now you want to get to the bottom of the numbers. If you're a hook curl dropper, then now you want to protect the hash to your side. In two high coverages, we teach the Mike linebacker to look up the first crosser in between the hashes. And then we teach all the linebackers that we want to play high to low and make the quarterback throw to the check down. So here's the drill. We set it up. All the linebackers are biting up on a uh, false run read. And then now, effort. Attack your drop. Attack your landmark. This, uh, right now, if you look to the top left of your screen, the Sam linebacker, we're in the under front. All right, he's stepping and striking on the tight end, gets sucked up. Now he's going to turn and run to the bottom of the numbers. Good job. The Mike linebacker, number 59, he's sucking up. Now he's turning and running. All right, he's getting to the, to the hash to his side. And then now the linebacker, the wheel linebacker, he's turning, and then he's trying to, as a hook curl dropper in this coverage, he's trying to get to the hook curl uh, to the hash on his side. And then now once you get there and there's no threat of receiving the area, you want to get your eyes back on the quarterback. All right, and now you want to make them pay in the zone. What we, what we mean by make them pay in the zone or hurt them in the zone is that we want to either get a pick or a big hit or some type of ball disruption whenever we're in zone coverage. So it's a good job right here. Good job here securing the catch and go. All right, same, same, same drill here. All right, I'm sticking the ball out, getting them to suck up on the run read, and then now turn and run, turn and run. Good job by 47 to the right of the screen, turn and run it. Good job by 94. All right, he's the same linebacker in this case, already on the line of scrimmage. And now he's turning and sprinting out, trying to get to the bottom of the numbers. This particular coverage we caught here, he's a curl flight dropper. Number 32, the, who's representing a Mike linebacker. All right, two high coverages. He's looking at the first crosser in between the hashes. Good job here. Catch the ball, and we want to tuck in and score. We want to finish. We want to tuck in and score. Same thing. Now, we got all three linebackers off the ball. All right now, right here, number 31, his drop is a curl flat drop, so he's aiming for the bottom of the numbers. The Mike linebacker here, all right, he knows now is a too high coverage. Now I want to get in between the hash. And then uh, number 44 here, now he's a hash dropper, and he want to defend the hash into the boundary. Good job. And like I said, we want to we want to play high to low. We want to gain as much ground as we can, and force the quarterback to throw the check down, or hold the ball an extra second so our pressure can get there. All right, good job by by uh, number thirty two is representing the Mike linebacker. All right, really good job. We try to emphasize getting our playing in the backfield, and he got sucked up. Good job not playing the drill, understanding that he, he want to over-exaggerate, so over-exaggerate getting sucked up. Good job by all three linebackers here, turning and running, trying to gain depth. Good job by the Sam linebacker to the, to the uh, top left of your screen, getting to the bottom of the numbers. Excellent job all across the board. I just want to finish every time. All right, now, same thing here. Uh, we're doing play action here. Got sucked up. And now this is the point I'm talking about. You know, I'm, I'm having the guys look up receiver in the area. The Sam linebacker to the top left. He's on the top of the tight end. He's going to the bottom of the numbers, turning our back to the quarterback. All right, the Mike linebacker trying to get in between the hash. And the wheel linebacker, number 31, is trying to defend the hash to his side. Now I'm telling him to run, to look up a receiver, and if he have to, let the ball hit him in the head. 
So that's why I purposely threw the ball earlier before he was set up, just to understand the importance that you're not going to always uh, uh, be, get an opportunity to be set up on time, but the most important thing is that when the offense is calling a play-action uh, play, they're calling a play-action play to throw the ball deep, not short. And so I'm always emphasizing our linebackers, you have to sprint back, turn you back to the quarterback, and look up receiver in your area. Now this last call here, what I did was I purposely called the man coverage. One of the things that we always say when we have man coverage is eyes on your luggage. Uh, you know, as if guys who travel a lot, you go travel in the airport, you know, I always make announcement, please don't leave your luggage. If you see any uh, un, un, uh, supervised luggage, please report it into the, uh, to the proper authority. Well, we don't want anybody still in luggage, especially uh, when I grew up. I didn't own my own luggage. I had to borrow my mom's luggage. And if I lost her luggage, that means I'm going to get in trouble. The same thing here. If you lose your coverage, then you're going to get in trouble. It's going to affect the whole team. So with the same play action drill, I purposely called the man coverage to see if they will honor their rule of keeping their eyes on the luggage. So here it is. They're pointing at the key. Now, i got man coverage now. 31, good job here. That's his man. Good job by the Sam linebacker staying with his tight end. Now, the only guy free now is the Mike linebacker. So now he must execute his rule again in between the hashes, looking up any first crosser. Great job, great discipline all across the board. Now, let's take our trainer to the game. Now, the same situation right here in the, in the, in the game. All right, against Virginia Tech. All right, we got a false read right here by the Mike linebacker. Uh, good reaction by the Will linebacker to the left of your screen. The Mike linebacker, he's getting sucked up on the run. Now, good job of him understanding now I got I got a bad read. Now, I want to turn and look up the first cross in my area. Great job turning this back to the quarterback all right, and enabling our defensive lineman to get a sack. Let's look at it from, a, from, the, uh, from the end zone view. We want to focus on number 59. All right, he's getting sucked up on run. All right, good job. Good job here. Understand, I got a bad run read. I made a mistake, all right? We overcome mistake by effort. Good job here running, getting between the hashes, looking up the receiver, turning his back towards the quarterback. This allows our defensive line to go ahead and get a sack, and they're now able to change the game. Excellent job all across the board. Now we just got to work on our tackling with the big boy. This is the execution of our play action drill here at the University of Miami.